Verisurf is pleased to announce the release of Verisurf X9, the most powerful and productive version yet. This latest release features improvements and enhancements in numerous areas. Solids, raster to vector conversion, and geometry nesting are now standard in every version of Verisurf X9. The Solids module enables creation and editing of solid models, which take advantage of the powerful model prep tools to permit direct editing of solids without solid history. Verisurf tools, which facilitate working with any type of model, have been enhanced and improved. Merge Files uses a multi-select open dialog, which allows multiple CAD files to be opened in Verisurf at the same time to simplify merge operations. Auto Center Plane automatically creates center planes between existing CAD surfaces that can be used in conjunction with measured midpoints to analyze position tolerance on ribs or similar CAD features. Auto Hole Axis can create MBD diameter callouts for the selected holes, and the Pierce tool has been enhanced to use pre-selection. Vectors are created normal to the selected surface. Point clouds have a new display option, Use Shader for Backside Coloring, that improves point cloud displays by rendering different front and backside colors using the shader. The display of live scans has been improved by calculating point normals in real time to take advantage of backside coloring. The new speed menu option to calculate normals enables rendering of existing clouds using the shader. New speed menu options in the Reverse, Measure, and Analysis Managers enhance the ability to work with points, point clouds, and meshes. The powerful Hidden Points function enables calculation of hidden or non-measurable points based on their rigid body relationship to other points that can be measured. This tool permits inspection of locations on a component that will be hidden when it's placed in an assembly. Global Register performs a rough alignment of point clouds to a model and register to nominal performs a best fit that results in a local alignment of the point cloud. Both functions can be automated using the new Do It tool. Quick alignment of scan data has been simplified. Register to WCS fits a plane through the scan data and then uses that plane to align the data to the active WCS with the centroid at the origin. Verisurf Validate has been enhanced and made more readily available. All users can now perform file-to-file -file validation of two independently translated files and generate validation reports without a Kubitech license. Verisurf's model-based definition has been improved with new tools and enhancements to existing tools. The powerful new Gap and Flush tool simplifies and automates the complex inspection of the mismatch between adjacent surfaces. Gap and flush callouts are created in the MBD manager by clicking the surface or by selecting existing points. The callouts are added to an inspection plan and evaluated in auto inspect using scan data. An illustrated report summarizes the actual and nominal gap and flush condition. Two point dimensions have been enhanced to create step distances automatically when applied to parallel surfaces, and MBD callouts can now be positioned directly on a shaded surface. The Analysis Manager in Verisurf X9 features many enhancements. Analysis of large meshes and point cloud scans has been greatly optimized for speed and accuracy. The new Do It button on the Analysis Toolbar automates alignment and analysis of the selected point clouds and can generate a quick report of the results. Use Shift-Click to access the Do It Settings dialog to configure the actions, or simply click the Do It button to run the default operations. Verisurf Preferences Projection Settings now offers a maximum point filter when analyzing and best-fitting point clouds. When enabled, the Filter Clouds to Max Points setting automatically filters the points used in the analysis or best fit and leaves the source cloud unchanged. Analysis color mapping updates in real time when changing tolerance, and shading has been added to the point display control. The Quick Report Speed Menu option creates an analysis report that includes a screenshot and a summary of the analysis. Quick reports can also be created by selecting multiple analysis objects to create a single PDF file. The measurement process has been enhanced with new simulation tools and improved device feedback. The Device Manager now includes a Device Status Indicator next to the Start-Stop button. 
A green light indicates the device is functioning correctly. A yellow or red indicator means the device requires attention. In addition, the entire status area is now a hotspot that opens the device controls dialog. Measurement simulation using the mouse device has been enhanced through the ability to add user-defined random error to the measurement of points, clouds, features, and analysis objects. The DRO XYZ format has a new D value that displays the 3D distance defined by the X, Y, and Z values. It's useful when zeroing out the DRO. The VDI speed menu, which is accessed from the device manager, now includes an option for tracker arm alignment that's used to align ferro arms and laser trackers to one another in the same frame of reference. This process results in greater accuracy than aligning each device independently. Integrating arms and trackers into the same process extends the working volume of the arm and eliminates the line of sight restrictions common to laser trackers. The Measure Manager in X9 features new tools and enhanced performance. Verisurf can now handle laser scan data at a rate of up to 600,000 points per second, and point normals for scan data are calculated in real time to improve shading when displaying point clouds. Assessing the quality of feature measurements is even easier in X9. The Calculate Fit dialog features a graph button that displays feature fit errors using a line chart. In addition, the speed menu can be used to export fit errors to an analysis object. These tools provide powerful visual feedback to help analyze inspection results. The measure commands trigger, finish, done skip, and undo, which are found in the measure settings dialog, can be added to a custom toolbar or mapped to hotkeys to simplify measurement operations. Hotkey mapping facilitates the setup of remote controls for use with devices such as laser trackers. The new comp axis setting applies compensation along the WCS axis nearest the probe vector. And the C point projection option uses a single point to position the projection plane parallel to the C plane. The report manager in X9 makes reporting inspection results faster and easier. Two fields have been added to the properties of circles in the Report Manager to simplify the calculation and reporting of hole patterns. The Angle field reports the largest angle between holes in the pattern, and the Spacing field reports the largest distance between holes. In addition, points now have a position property that uses the selected X, Y, and Z deviations to calculate position. The automatic evaluation of these properties helps eliminate repetitive calculations. Prompts and comments now support images to provide more effective communication with the inspector. The report settings general options allow all feature properties, both measured and nominal, to be reported as absolute values. This simplifies reporting when a feature's coordinates, which can be positive or negative, are used to report dimensions, which are always positive. The new speed menu option, Combine Multiple Reports, creates a single Excel file containing the selected reports. Each report is created on its own tab using the current Excel report settings. The Automate Manager has seen a number of improvements in Verisurf X9. If drafting notes have been added to points and circles, the notes will become the feature names when creating a new plan from nominal data. The Speed Menu option, Convert To, makes it possible to convert one or more features in an inspection plan from one type to another. The post options in Automate settings have been enhanced through the ability to choose multiple post file types, to browse for the post file output directory, and to quickly access the post configuration folder. In addition, post file types have been added to support laser projectors, and point clouds can now be used in Automate for measurement or projection of point clouds. Point cloud and mesh tools in the Reverse Manager have been improved in X9. The Edit Mesh tool now supports smoothing, refining, and filtering of selected regions of the mesh to enable localized adjustments. The Fill Holes dialog for meshes now offers an option to fill all holes in a single operation to help streamline reverse engineering workflows. The new functions Toggle Mesh Edges and Toggle Mesh Shader facilitate viewing of meshes. The Mesh Speed menu now offers options to export edges to clouds and export edge faces. 
The former creates a cloud from the vertices that define the mesh edge, and the latter creates a mesh from all the triangles with at least one vertex on the edge of the mesh. Finally, two options have been added to the filter cloud dialog. The minimum distance filter can now average points to a minimum distance rather than simply discard them to retain surface information. In addition, clouds can be filtered to a specific number of points using the Max Points filter option. To learn more about the benefits of Verisurf X9, please call us at 888-713-7201 or email us at sales at verisurf.com.